Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Freddie. Uh, if you're new here, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Um, this is the second look in the color series that I'm doing. And today's look is blue. As you can see, I did a blue look using like what five colors I want to say um, from all different palettes so I'm not gonna go into detail as far as what shadows I'm using um, but yeah this is the look this eye is watering in the corner so that's fun um, this is why I don't typically put too much stuff in my waterline like under my eye because once the shadow gets in there the first time, then the eye just continues just to leak, like, incessantly, for whatever reason. Um, but yeah, I'm actually happy with this look. Um, I'm actually happy with this base as well. So, this is the look. Like I said, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. And... Just... Stay tuned, keep on watching, you'll see how I get this look. Um, I am zoomed in for the lid, but for the under eye, I did zoom out because I realized that I tilt down to look in the mirror to put the colors on my waterline. And whenever I'm zoomed in, I'm always out of frame. So I didn't want that to happen, so I let y'all see the whole face. Alright? So... Let me know what the next color should be, because today I just woke up, um, and blue was what came to my mind as the color that I wanted to do. So I don't know if that'll happen again next Sunday, but <laughs> we'll see. And uh, I know somebody's gonna ask. So the lip combo is, um, what is this? Mm. So it is the NYX Lip Pencil in Nutmeg. Um, it is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Matte Lipstick in Peachy with the Fenty Gloss Bomb in Diamond Milk. Oh, and these lashes, because somebody's going to ask, <laughs> are, oh, can you see? It's really white. These are House of Lashes, Natalia Lashes. Okay. All right, so let's just stay tuned and keep on watching. All right, so you're going to be seeing me blending out the concealer that's on my lid because it had already started to crease and I already have bronzer on my crease. Then you're going to see me start to pack a teal blue shade onto the outside corner of my eye because at this point I didn't know what look I was doing. Um, and then I felt like I needed a darker blue. So I grabbed a darker blue and I put that on the outside corner and I blended it into that teal shadow. <laughs> Um, you're going to see me applying these shadows in real time because I realized that the video is not that long, so I didn't want to fast forward it. Um, after I pack down this blue and I determine the shape that's best suited for my eye, I then apply more of the teal blue in the middle and then I put a lighter blue on the inner corner. And then I'm going to apply a shimmery blue on the very inner corner and blend all that together I wish I had used the eyeshadow base I'm going to try my best to do that next time because what I'm finding is with concealer the sticking power is not the same and I felt that towards the end of the day the shadows started to look a little patchy so I think next time if I use the eyeshadow base everything will pop more and stay true to color because you'll see as I put the shadows on initially, they look very bright. But then as I blend, they start to dull a little bit. Um, 
Also, I'm going to work on my angles so that I'm no longer leaning out of frame. Um, so, so sorry about that. Um, when I do the other eye, I'm more in frame because I'm not leaning in the same direction. So, that's me realizing that I'm not in frame, by the way. So, yeah, here goes that lightest blue that I found in all these palettes that I have. Also, I have powder all over my face just to catch any fallout because the dark blue color, it did end up falling out a little bit and I didn't want to ruin my base. So now you're just going to keep watching me apply these shadows, blending them together, and then I'm going to apply a brown in the crease again just to fuzz out the edges a little bit and that'll be that. I'll be back when I'm doing the lower lash line. Enjoy the music!
All right, so now I'm grabbing a dark blue shimmer shade and I'm applying that to my lower lash line. I moved back and <laughs> zoomed out because I know that this is a struggle for me to stay in frame. So um, this really irritated my eye. So that's why you see the frame cut out because it was a whole five minutes of me drying my eye fanning my eye and everything it was a whole production um after i applied the dark blue i then grabbed a dark purple and i put that on the outside corner of my lower lash line and i liked how that looked and then i'm gonna sweep uh the same crease brown onto the lowest part of the lower lash line I'm going to make some wings and I'm using my Fenty fly liner because this is like one of my favorite eyeliners um, my wings are still not the same I'm really gonna take some time to practice that because I feel like the wings that I'm creating they don't really show when my eyes are closed I mean when my eyes are open and so I need to really find the best wing shape for my particular eye I know I have hooded lids but they're also creased lids so it's a little worse than a hooded lid and so yeah but okay back to the music All right, so we're almost to the end of the video and these are my lashes, House of Lashes, Natalia style. 
And then I'm going to apply some highlighter. I think this was the Fenty um, Mo Money Hustler Baby. I really don't remember. Um, and as you can see, I've already dusted my face. So the base wasn't what was important in this eye look. So at this point, my cousin was having a whole conversation with me. And so this is why this is the only part you get to see of me completing my base. But thank you for watching and you made it to the end. I hope that you watched the whole video and you found it informative.